It's day 100 and I can't quite believe we've got to the end. If you're missing me, go back and watch my videos some more. I'll, I'll just be saying the same things, but... <laughs> I hope you've really enjoyed the 100 days. We've had a great time putting it together. I've loved presenting it and editing it and creating all these fantastic tasks. But today you're gonna to build something that's really useful, really meaningful, and is often sold at a cost. You're gonna build a product price scraper. Now, don't be tempted to go and set this up with an Amazon link immediately. If you set this up with an Amazon link, Amazon have special techniques to see if you are scraping their websites. And as you're testing it, as you'll be clicking run loads and loads, they'll pick you up very quickly and block your IP. And what that means is you won't be able to scrape data from Amazon. They won't stop you getting a page, but instead of giving you a page with a product on, they'll give you a page that says, don't be naughty. And this will expire after a while and it'll be fine when you're working, but it's difficult to test. So my suggestion is go and find a different website with products on that you want to buy. In this case, I've identified a few things I'd like to buy from this website. Your mileage will vary and certainly you pick the website you want, but just pick one website for now. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, in a database, store dictionaries with URLs of products, the current price and a price level at which you'd be willing to buy them. I'd like you to set the program up so that every day it checks and scrapes the page to see if the price has changed. If the price has changed and it's fallen below the level at which you said you'd buy it, it should email you with a link to the product, a reminder of what you said you'd buy it for and what the current price is. This is a service that people offer and pay for. It's pretty, pretty cool if you can get this set up and working and is a lovely way to cap off 100 days. Just remember, you can set this up with Amazon.com, but you'll need to be a little bit sneakier about how many times you scrape the page. If you want to set it up with Amazon, my top tip is to scrape it once and store it in the database so you can mess around with that and then only scrape it properly once you've got it up and running. If you find this useful, of course, a normal REPL will fall asleep once you've left it inactive for a certain amount of time. If you want this to constantly be on, you'll need Always On. From the name slug, you can turn Always On or find options there to go and purchase the hacker plan or to use cycles to purchase individual Always On and boosts. It's well worth doing if you find value in this sort of software because for a small amount of outlay, you can get great functionality that's entirely custom to you. And also, we probably don't really need scrapers to watch an Amazon wish list because there are websites that already do that pretty well for free. However, Websites that you buy things from, smaller websites, smaller companies, might be a better venue for you to write this sort of code because it's very unlikely that if you shop from a small website or a small company, there's a tracker set up like Camel 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 to watch the progress of the price. We'd love to see what you've built with this. Share this with us in the community by publishing it. This is a really useful product. Of course, when you're done, use the hashtag replit 100 days of code and the hashtag finally my hundredth day hundredth is spelled difficulty copy and paste it from the documentation or something but use that hashtag you've done all 100 days there is no next lesson for you unless you want to check out our learn page replit.com slash learn is full of tutorials and other courses that you might be interested in getting involved in why not get involved in our bounties program now you can build web apps that scrape things have a look to see who's offering to pay you for your programming services. Put your new skill to good work and earn some of those lovely, lovely cycles that can fund the always on for your Amazon tracker. It's been brilliant teaching you. I hope you've had a lot of fun with me, the baldest nerd you know. Please tweet me at Lesson Hacker and let me know what you thought of the course and let me know how long it took you to complete those 100 days. I look forward to seeing you again on a different course on Replit. You should be really proud of yourself.